Yeah, my name's Kevin Garn. I'm a detective acting inspector in the Regional Crime Court over the far northern region. The spelling is it's G-O-A-N. Just while we're here today, what's the It's uh, investigators asked that we release a copy of the Triple O call that relates to the uh, the hours leading up to the demise of young Erica Liddy. Uh, her, um, she was located uh, at a bus stop about 1.7 k's to the northwest of our location here um, with a head injury. Um, she was taken to the hospital and as we know she um, passed away as a result of her injuries. The hope by releasing the Triple O call is that we can identify the caller. We believe that he may have uh, additional information which he can assist our investigations with. It's probably important to pass on to the uh, Triple O caller that he is not the subject of our investigations, but we believe that he will have information that may be able to assist us in advancing our inquiries to bring it to a uh, successful resolution for the sake of the families involved. Do you know anything about the caller? Uh, we understand from his voice that he's um, probably uh, a middle-aged gentleman, uh, and we understand that he may have been on a push bike uh, in the area of um, the bus stop at about 1.30am on the 12th of April this year. How are inquiries going outside of this group? Uh, our inquiries are still progressing. We have a number of lines of inquiries, but we're certainly eager to speak to uh, the Triple O caller in this instance. As I mentioned earlier, uh, weeks earlier, about a group of kids that may be in the area as well. Is there any progress? Uh, yeah, there, there are a number of inquiries are being conducted in relation to that, but um, we believe the Triple O caller in this instance may be able to give us significant direction. In the car as well, the Commodore? Uh, those investigations are continuing. What did the Triple O caller say? A copy of the Triple O call will be released to you, um, but essentially that uh, he had come by the young lady in the uh, bus shelter and that she was suffering from, uh, she was then unconscious uh, and he was urging the arrival of um, the emergency services. What makes you sure that he is in a suspect? Uh, it's, the nature of the call is such that we want to identify who the Triple O caller is so that he can uh, tell us um, what other things may have transpired in the area at that time. And so was the man not there by the time police had arrived? No, that's the case, yes. Is that unusual? Uh, not uh, given the proximity of the phone box here to the proximity where Erica was uh, discovered. Uh, the area is approximately 1.7 k's from this location, so um, it is some distance for him to return to that area. I understand that this was the nearest phone box that was available to him.